Hey guys, welcome to the Gunshot with me, Johnny, and today we're going to be looking at this, the Yildiz SPZ-20. So as you can see, it comes in this lovely green cardboard box. But this gun retails at 550 pounds, so expecting much more than a green cardboard box might be a bit optimistic. Ah, uh, very well designed security method there. And inside you have the polystyrene case. Stock, barrels, fore end, choke key, three spare chokes, two in the gun. What more could you possibly want? Let's pop it out and have a look at what you get. So here it is, the Yildiz 20 bore, 28 inch multi-choke ejector, SPZ. At the back we have this lovely Yildiz Pro Star symbol on the back there, rubber pad, nicely rounded on the top, and just tacky enough, but just slippy enough. This leads on to grade two walnut, obviously Turkish walnut on a Turkish gun. Something that Yildiz never undersell on is their wood, and actually for grade, they're always nice. Comes perhaps not in the best finish, but it is oil finished, but for the sake of a couple hours work, you can make these stocks really very nice. Laser checkered, ambidextrous grip if you like, no palm swell. The drop is quite a lot actually, it's one and a half and two and a half, actually just a little bit over uh, one and a half and two and a half on this model. Something they do do quite well though is cast. So what they put on more than any other budget Turkish guns that I can name right now uh, is a little bit more cast, which actually allows them to come up quite nicely. Something that would be quite nice to see perhaps on the junior or ladies gun would be an adjustable comb cut in and unsurprisingly that model is coming in the not too distant future and that's going to be really nice to be able to have a lightweight gun with an adjustable comb for not silly money. Laser check as we said and that moves on to the action. The action is an alloy action however the engraving on it isn't awful for an alloy action. This is where one of the biggest weight saving parts coming in this gun and actually it's all right. You know, you'll hear good and bad things about Yildiz actions. At the end of the day, and I'm going to keep reiterating this, it's £550 for a gun that has five years of warranty. Five years of warranty. So, if something does go wrong, and you can almost expect it to, given that it's £550 over the next five years, you're covered. You're safe. You're buying five years of use. It's 100 and something pound a year. It's £10 a month. That, if you look at it from a purely rental perspective, is a bargain. If we look inside the actual action face here, you'll see you have a removable steel section where you're going to get most of your wear. That's a nice little feature, and actually for an alloy action, it's very wise. Also have steel trunnions there, and these are removable and replaceable, as is this faceplate. You know, there's a lot of benefits to having an alloy action gun, and having the parts that wear being removable steel, that's quite good too. Would I like an alloy action gun for myself? Well, I suppose if weight was of a particular importance, yeah, I, I'd live with, it, live with it. The safety on this model is automatic, however that can obviously be removed, if you like, to drop the top lever, there's a little lever on the inside, you push that down, the top lever drops back, and it is obviously selectable. Non-adjustable, very plain blade for the trigger. This is a very basic design, however you do not want anything over complicated at this price point. The forend, again you have an aluminium iron, ironically, uh, but the important parts are made of steel keeps the forehead weight down quite significantly. The barrels, where most of the weight is in this gun is right here in these barrels. They're 15 8.8 .8 bore, the forcing cones are fairly short, there is nothing exciting about this barrel technology apart from that they do point in the right direction, which on a budget gun is um, asking enough. Apart from that, the ejector system, fairly standard really, actually to be fair it's not fairly standard, it's quite unexotic, almost semi beretta esque if you like, in a way nice they come out easily and they are well machined for the price point for the price point they're well machined the opening and closing of the gun fairly positive a little touch of graunch as you do pull into place but by comparison to plenty of other cheap guns there's nothing exotic 
and it's a good positive click and the actual you know fitment of the metal is not too bad I suppose wood to metal fit uh, could do with some slight improvement however actually on certain areas it's really good to be fair it's really not that bad at all it's just the odd little bit like round the back there that it's not quite done properly however given this stock is predominantly machine made they've done a pretty good job, job of it actually uh, or as good a job as you could expect for the money or to be fair as good a job as you'll see on some guns for five times the price how does it balance well what do you expect an alloy action gun stripped all the weight out of the back end with a load of weight in the front end quite front heavy however short of making the barrels out of carbon fiber there's very little way to make an alloy action gun not appear a little front heavy to shoot it's going to require a lot of control obviously any gun that isn't nicely balanced or well rounded does require an awful lot of control and some very rigorous technique however you'll get over it the fact that it's lightweight again is the payoff there i quite like it you know for 550 pounds there is actually quite a lot in the market now for that sort of five six hundred pound mark you this is a tried and tested name the importers are really sound the ray trade guys are really good with any warranties They've always got a lot of stuff in stock, and more importantly, five years of warranty. It's not something we're currently seeing on anything else comparable to this gun. And that would push me in this direction over anything else, actually. The ability to have a warranty you can trust, well, it's worth its weight in 550 pounds, isn't it? I'm hoping to take one of these out and actually have a good go with it fairly soon, uh, because I kind of fancy a cheap 20 ball just for having a bit of fun with, for personal. So. I've got one, I'm going to take it out, I'm going to have a go with it, and I'll see you then. Guys, take care, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.